Um, everyone looks much nicer today, by the way. Everyone's in their smart gear. I wonder why. Look at these people behind the screen. I've never seen them look so attractive this morning. Everyone's upping their game. Um, right, so Jack Grealish going from football, becoming what is um, really a fan favourite, isn't it? Like, even in the World Cup, wasn't getting started in these games. Yep. Got the, the mood of the nation behind him. And now moving into um, something like Gucci, which is mm. um, a seven-figure deal, apparently. With, as, a, as someone that has lived and breathed the fashion industry for, what, 20 years? Is that right? Yeah, yeah. What, what do you make of those kind of deals? Um, they've been going on for a long, long time. So, I mean, if you look at the first, I mean, it was probably Bobby Moore was the first sort of superstar footballer Savile Row suits it's obviously changed and, and what we're looking at at the moment a bit like sort of well wear is hoodies and um, I, I, I you know brands are looking at individuals not just sort of models and movie stars now they're they're looking at sportsmen and um, you know sort of really she is, is I suppose a bit of a maverick in this field on and off uh, on and off the field and that's what Gucci are about they're about individualism and he yeah, it's going to fit into that quite well. I think it's um, it's nice to see. Obviously, <coughs> excuse me, the the best was always Mr. Beckham, and still is. You know, he's just astonishing, you know, good-looking guy, and he's actually a you know a, a style guru for many, in many ways. What advice would you give to Jack Grealish to going into the world of modelling? How's he survive, and what would what would your best piece of advice be for him? <laughs> I think it's nice because you know he's not he's he's putting his foot into the fashion game, which which many people sort of do. You know, but being talk, talk about the fashion industry. Um, is that you, know, you do have movie stars, singers, sportsmen? They're they're all dabbling into into fashion now. Mm. Um, I, I think it's more to do with actually men now are, are sort of uh, much more interested in the way they look and about grooming, about everything else, which is probably why they're expanding to a different demographic with you know with sort of footballers. Um, you know, on the front cover of GQ recently, there's been Mo Salah. Um, mm. Who else has there been? Like Calvert Lewin. Marcus Rashford as well Marcus for everything Rashford, that he's yeah. doing. So yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, becoming real icons in their own right. Um, mm. We can't let go without doing a fun feature. Yeah. Uh, don't mean to make you feel uncomfortable, but of <laughs> course, because there's a, a top model in the studio with this guy. Well, don't um, give us a one out of ten on some of these been pictures. A bit <laughs> humble here. Um, <laughs> you've been casting your eye across the 20 Premier League managers, and then we'll get to these two here in the studio. Um, and you've up. <laughs> I can't believe we've got you to do this. But they've asked you to rank them in order of beauty, right? So who'd be on the runway? Who's the most likely and who's the least likely to make it in the world? Amazing. So, so modelling. You, you know what? I've kind of gone on dress sense. I think it's a bit a bit harsh. Clever. To, so, um, Clever. I'm guilty about that one this morning. Who, who comes in? I'll tell you, let's go from the bottom. Who's rock bottom? Uh, uh, Miko Arteta. No! Oh! <laughs> Spurs fan. Well, else well, was going to be bottom of the list. The best head of hair I've ever seen in my life. Oh, oh unbelievable. See, we're, we're not talking about hair. We're talking about dressing. Right. So that was a great start. Little zippy up thing. Um, like so this sounds horrible. I, I love Stephen Gerrard, but the dress sense. I don't know. It's a bit geography kind of standing teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I so no. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I, that sounds so terrible. So what is he second from bottom then? He's second from bottom. Oh my goodness. I've done, done, done all of them. He's I've a just done the top six. Uh, Roy Hodgson, I love Roy as well. <laughs> Stop right there. <laughs> There's going to be a hello, however. <laughs> yeah, but, but I'm just... It's lovely because he's always in shirt and tie, which is the old school, which I love. Um, I'd love to get him in some well wear to be honest. I might send Roy some well wear and get him up there. Or that, in a double that, piece tracksuit. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> 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 yeah. Amazing. And we've done like positive colours as well. So we've done like the positive blue. So it would, he would just be, you know, a more positive mindset. Really he always seems quite pop, happy anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, weird. So I kind of gone top three. Um, Brendan Rogers. I've met him in person like, a couple of times. He's well dressed. Like he actually gets it right. I'm looking at a picture now. He mixes it well. That one surprises me. No, no. no. I, not in a. Right. Sorry, Brendan. <laughs> sorry. Oh, yeah, they've just put Brendan away. <laughs> let me do, let me let me just pull those words back into my mouth. It's not that I don't think he's fashionable. It's that I, I would have said his style was fairly generic. It's fairly generic, but I, but he puts stuff well together. He he sort of mixes the tie and the the, the suit, and then it's. You know, you can mix as a good bomber jacket sometimes. It's not the typical kind of uh, the, the team tracksuit. He's Tom's adventurous. Stuff. He is. So I, I think he yeah. looks good. I think, he, yeah, adventurous. Well, I wouldn't go that far. But um, <laughs> anyway, I met him as a nice guy. That's why I put him on there. <laughs> so he's in your top three. Who are the other two? Eddie Howe. 
Nice. Yes. Just good looking guy. He's he's kind of like he's got you know the the good looks and pulls off anything. Yeah. I think. Yes. Like just looks good anything. Okay. And um, number one, obviously you've got to go for probably a European manager. Um, so I had to look through, and then Antonio Conte, number one. No way. Oh. Oh, Italian. Mm. Oh, I get it. Also Spurs. I get. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was going. No, so but well. he's Italian. He, al- he always he always does look oh, good. Wow. Well, really, yeah. really quickly before you go, yeah. um, Ali McCoy is here. Well, I don't know what this era wow, was. Ali, it looks like the eighties. Uh... <laughs> Um, yeah. Ali, oh, it was 1991, <laughs> Ali McCoy's looking what fresh-faced. Ali, what, what are you doing there? there? No idea, David, to be quite How would you describe <laughs> you that know, pose? See, David, that, that's just a question a I've got for... To, a, a pose for radio, that one. David, <laughs> do, do you have any pictures that come back to haunt you like that one? That's just been shown <laughs> to you from me. That just haunts me. <laughs> yeah. Well, don't worry, um, yeah. I've got another one. I've got another one for you as well. Look at this. This is the Hummel, famous Hummel gear. Look, that's quite retro, isn't it? But I think that's come back. Do you think? Yeah. <laughs> it's come back. It has. That's, that's think, some think... kind of compliment you're hitting me with. It's come back. <laughs> 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 Uh, oh, last no, one, no, Gabby no, O'Bonnell, no. circa 2013, looking double hard. You see, you see, you see, kit. like when we used to do these um, shoots at the start of the season, yeah. and the cameraman's like, put on a moody face, you see, that's put on like... an angry face. <laughs> We're all like kicking balls at him, like leave us alone. And then you have to do that bit cheesy kind yeah. of two fifth. Show, kind us, of, a, show I, us a celebration. You see, I watch it on TV Honestly. and think, oh god, I, I I know your pain. Like when those guys are like clearly <laughs> asking you to do that, and you're like, we don't want to do we this. Just we just want to be on the training field. Yeah, absolutely. There we go. Right, you got away with not ranking. Either of them there, so I'll take a zero. Clever. I'll take a zero. Very clever, <laughs> uh, David. Unfortunately, we've got to let you go, and I've got oh, to spend the rest of the show with these two. But it was, uh, it was just wonderful having you, and congratulations on everything you've achieved in your career. But also, moving into this, Wellwear is a, a, a wonderful brand, a great concept. You, so, we wish you the best of luck with it. And if people want to find more, I suppose the, the website is like the best place, yeah. Yeah, it's all direct to consumer. So, uh, yeah, David Gandhi, Wellwear. Why are you Love sweating it. so much, Laura? Hey, I'm not Gushy. sweating, I'm very cool. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I just, just had a message in, said I've never heard Laura. Giggle so much. <laughs> Get out of here, nervous, nervous Get out. Right, David Gandhi, he's got to leave. Thank you so much. Thanks, Wonderful guys. to really see you. Thank you. Thank Take you. care. Thanks, Lots darling. more Thanks, very man. uninteresting things coming up on Talksport 948. <laughs> Talksport Breakfast with Laura Woods, Monday to Wednesday morning, six till ten, on AM, on DAB, via the Talksport app, and on your smart speaker. Talksport.